the law of giving and receiving. When a person did not receive enough love in his childhood, he will look for it somewhere else. And I would like to offer you a small test to see if uh, you received enough love in your childhood or not. And if you're trying to find this missing piece in your current relationship with your boyfriend or your husband. Uh, so the test is, uh, what do you think, how do you think uh, the relationship between man and woman is uh, it conditional or unconditional love? So uh, do you love your partner conditionally or unconditionally? And uh, the same, do you believe that your partner should love you conditionally or unconditionally? So think about it. If you say unconditional, then it means that you did not receive enough love in your childhood and you're looking uh, for it somewhere else, specifically in your um, uh, romantic relationship. In romantic relationship, love is always conditional. Why? Because when we are looking for the partner, we want him to be let's say we want him to be tall we want him to be smart we want him to be funny we want him to be successful we want him to treat us with respect so we do have a lot of conditions a lot of requirements what we expect from our partner and when it comes to parents or to children the love is unconditional no matter how your parents look you still love them no matter what parents do you might be angry at them but you still love them no matter uh, how successful they are you still love them and the same from parents to children right the child might misbehave might be violent might be screaming but you still love your child so this is unconditional love but in a relationship the love is conditional that's why we have a lot of conflicts that why that's why it's so hard for us to forgive the person that's why we trying to build healthy relationship because we have conditions and it's normal it's right it's it's uh, it's the proper way to have a relationship is to find the person who is going to be similar to you who will have a similar values similar interest and similar goal in life so your conditions will uh click and you can build a healthy loving relationship so let's discuss uh, how this law when a child did not receive enough love what he will experience in his adult's life for example, a lack of father's love and attention will create a desire in his daughter to date an older man. And those women usually say something like this. I love to sit on my boyfriend's lap. I like when he kisses me in my forehead. Uh, he, accept me, he accepts me for who I am, no matter what I do. He understands me without words. He's strong and powerful. And all those words, they are actually addressed to fathers. So um, a father is supposed to kiss daughter in her forehead. A father is supposed to understand her and accept her no matter what. And um, in this relationship, a woman falls into a very strong dependent situation so she depends on her father who is her boyfriend another example when a child receives too much toys too much gifts too much entertainment when parents do everything for a child then the child becomes a squander he throws money away when a child receives too much attention, when a child is 10 years old and parents treat him as he is 5 years old, he becomes narcissistic, selfish, irresponsible person. 
Uh, if you have negative, problematic relationship with your parents, then you can your connection with them becomes even stronger. You spend a lot of energy, a lot of time, thoughts on them instead of focusing on your own life. All the expectations, everything that you did not receive from your father or mother, you are expecting from your partner. Let's talk about the law of balance uh, in a couple. In a romantic relationship, a person should give the same amount of love, care, and support as he receives in return. Uh, examples when this law is violated. A couple plays child-parent relationship instead of a male-female relationship. When a woman turns into a mother, she becomes a mother for her husband. She treats him, she takes care of him as he is her son. And uh, the outcome of this interaction is, it can be two options. Option number one, a man does not accept any responsibility in his life. He has a strong mother who is responsible for everything. He loses sexual desire towards her and find the mistress. Why? Because uh, she is treating him not as a woman, but she is treating him as a mother. She is taking care of everything. So, of course, he's going to lose sexual desire. And when he finds a mistress, his real wife, plays the role of a mother and his mistress become his girlfriend so and now it's mother son and girlfriend relationship the triangle relationship another outcome of this interaction when a man leaves her for another woman uh, because his wife raised him well it's like mother raised him well she helped him with career she helped him to be successful she teach him a lot of things and then he leaves her and she complains she's saying like i did so much for him i raised him i supported him i teach him and she's right yes in reality she raised an extremely successful son she did a very good job and now it's time for him to leave his mother and find a real relationship let me know if you agree to this, if you've seen such couples, if you've seen such relationship. Uh, what do you think about this? So when a woman is in a relationship with a father, so she's dating a guy and she treats her man like he is her father. And a lot of guys, they like those relationships because the girl is a little girl and he is a hero. He has to take care of her. So he decides everything. He is the boss in the family and she is his little princess, a trophy wife. Uh, he works, he is making money and she sits at home. She does not work. She does not do home chores because she's a princess. She's a little girl. She's a little baby. And uh, maybe she has a chihuahua. She walks with her. She takes pictures, you know, and posted them on Instagram. And one day she might realize that she did not achieve anything. And she might get into a very deep depression. Another option, uh, another outcome of this father-daughter relationship might be when a man tires of her childness and he played the hero role for many years. He already fulfilled his desire to be a hero, to be a strong man. And now he does not want to play this game anymore. Or maybe they have kids and once they got kids, uh, uh, it's very hard to raise kids with a princess. He needs a woman. He needs somebody who will support him, who will understand him, who will have a passionate, uh, intimate relationship with him. Because with the princess, it's all about fun, but usually the intimate part is going down. At first, they have you know, a lot of passion, but later those relationships, they fall in down uh, and the guy might realize that he does not want those relationships anymore 
and he finds a mistress or filing for a divorce. It's important to remember only one rule. The rule is very, very simple. Give a little bit more in a love and a little bit less in a fight. Again, give a little bit more in love and a little bit less in a fight. When a, your partner does something good for you, you should do good for him in return, but a little bit more than he did for you. So give a little bit more in a love. When your partner does something good, you also do good for him, but a little bit more. Not a lot, not too much, right? But a little bit more. This will help you in hard times. When you have conflicts, when you have misunderstandings, this little bit will always be there for you and your partner will know that you love him your partner will know that you respect him but if you give less then during the conflict you will have a lot of arguments and the person might say uh i always give you more i did this this and this this for you and you did nothing you only this did this little for me or maybe opposite, if you give too much, then you're going to have a lot of complaints uh, during the arguments, during the fight. Uh, you will say, I always do this, 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 this for you. And you do what? Nothing. So when, you, when your partner does something good for you, you should do also good for him in return, but a little bit more. Uh, the second part of this rule is if your partner does something bad you should give him also bad in return but a little bit less if you forgive your partner let's say he said something rude he did something bad and you say nothing or you forgive everything then you actually you the, you're gonna be the one who is gonna create toxic dependent relationship without boundaries without love and without respect so when your partner does something bad for you, you should do also bad. You should tell him that, you know what, I feel disrespectful. This is not how I like you to treat me. I want this, this, and this. So when your partner does something bad, you should not be quiet. And at the same time, you should not be, you know, do something worse for him. So you should not be more violent. You should not be more rude. You should not put use maybe try to offense him even more to make him feel bad no in return you also do something bad right but a little bit less so be a little bit more polite you should protect your boundaries you should know how to protect your boundaries you should know how to say no and i have a video about healthy boundaries how to say no i will also leave the link below this one if this is uh, your um, problem please go and watch this video so then remember the law of balance the balance of giving and the balance of receiving